What's going on you gamers? Here we are in Destiny 2, and this is the first time I've loaded it up since Beyond Light hit. What I've noticed is there's a way to get the old exotic items. So I'll be showing you in this guide how to get the old exotic items, and how to get some ciphers to actually unlock them. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls. So as always, if you're into gaming and you're into Xbox, for all things Xbox and soon Xbox Series X, why not hit that subscribe and bell icon and I'll bring you regular content on all the latest and greatest in gaming. But for now, you're not here for that. You're here to find out how to get the old exotic items that you kind of can't get the quest for as such anymore. Now, when you first load up the game, if you're like me and you're a returning player or you've just started playing, then with the Beyond Light expansion, you will be needed to go through a short quest chain. Now, I have actually skipped that myself just to show you this bit on a third character. So once you're in space, you'll open your director and it's back at the tower. So what you're going to want to do is just make sure you travel there. So if you've ever played Destiny before, you'll know exactly what this is. This is the tower, and it's kind of an integral part of the game. Now what you want to do is pretty much make your way straight over to this right hand side. And if you'll notice where your usual banks are, you've still got your vaults here. With all of your gear in, but just in the middle here is something completely new to this expansion. So if you interact with it, If you have a little look, it's saying Exotic Gear Archives. And like I said, it's basically all of your old exotics that you kind of can't get anymore. Whether for it being that the planet doesn't exist or the actual mission has kind of gone, it just basically means you can't obtain these any other way than this, as far as I'm aware. Now, these are split into three kind of exotic categories. So as you can see, the Red War Exotics, the Forsaken Exotics, and the Shadow Keep exotics. If you're not sure exactly what you're after, just have a little look through all of them. And just down here, you've got the Legacy gear, which kind of needs slightly different stuff to unlock. So if I show you these, just up here, you've got Sturm, Mida Multitool, Rat King, Sleeper Simulant, Wordline Zero, Polaris Lance and Legend of Acreus. And as you can see, the main thing and the hardest thing to get is the exotic cipher. So you need an exotic cipher, glimmer, spoils of conquest, and an ascendant shard. But yeah, definitely the hardest thing to get out of all of those is the exotic cipher. If you see this one at the end here, which says spoils of conquest, as far as I'm aware, now obviously I'm a returning player so I don't know everything, but as far as I'm aware you can only get that from the raids that are available within the game at the moment. Probably be able to with any that actually are implemented further on as well, as long as it's in the Beyond Light expansion I'd guess. But yeah, so the hardest ones will be Spools of Conquest and the Exotic Cipher. Now obviously just over here you've got the Year 2 Exotics, you've got Ace of Spades, The Last Word, Lim Monarch, Jotun, is an Uggie's Burden, which is a great one and probably going to be my first buy actually. Fawn, Lumina, Truth, Bad Juju, Anarchy, Taraba, and Always on Time. So there's some nice ones in there. And finally, just over here, we have Leviathan's Breath, Ariana's Veil, vale, Bastion, Symmetry, Devil's Ruin. Tommy's Matchbook, and the fourth Horseman. Now I'm just going to go through two that's to note over here, and the two that I think is probably to note at the moment is the Mountain Top. Now in my opinion I think this is a really good idea from Bungie, a really great way to pick up those items you just wouldn't be able to get anymore. Now like I said, with some of them it is quite hard to get because you need the Exotic Cipher. 
So here's a couple of ways that I find are the easiest ways to get them. So hold on to select, at least on Xbox. Go all the way over to your season pass. And with the free season pass, if you go all the way along, and obviously this isn't going to be the quickest way in the world, but it is a freebie. Just up here, when you reach rank 55, you'll be able to obtain a free exotic cipher. So you'll be able to spend that on one of those exotics that you want. Another way, if I quickly teleport there, So this is the fella just here, and like I said, if you're a returning player, you already know about him. This is Zer, and once a week on Friday, he turns up at a random location, and he leaves on a Tuesday. During that time, if you click on him, he will have some exotic items. So you can get one of those if you've got enough legendary shards. He'll have exotic items here, and then just down the bottom here, however I've already picked it up, he'll have a quest. And that quest, I believe, is usually do something along the lines of 21 strikes or 21 gambits or 21 crucible matches. Usually, anyway. It may change in the future, but as far as I can tell, it seems to be pretty much that. And once you've done that, you will get another exotic cipher. And just so you know what you're looking for, this is the quest right here, Xenology. Complete strikes, win matches in Crucible or Gambit. Extra progress is awarded for more challenging activities. Basically, 0 of 21. So like I said, do the 21, get the Exotic Cypher, and then go and get yourself a nice piece of loot that you wouldn't have been able to otherwise. <laughs> right, guys and girls, I'm getting shot at from down there by some harpies. So before I die, I'm going to say my goodbyes. But I hope that's helped a few of you out. Obviously, it won't be for all of you, but it might help some returning players or players that are new to the franchise. As always, if you'd like to become part of the Safe Squad, then hit that subscribe and bell icon. As always, take care. I'll see you on the next day.